three, two, and one. Thank you for joining me. Today I will be discussing Ellis Island. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Ellis Island, as the colonizers came over, warred with the Indians, as wars were beginning to be won, as treaties were being signed, an influx of what you were told of Europeans, which were technically Africans enslaved by Moors and Muslims, it was in the Muslim world, and Sardisians. Those Africans were freed by the barbarians of all things. You would never think barbarian liberator. That is what you see in the Conan movies. This is what it's showing us in the history books. Now, somehow, the black Europeans, whether they were enslavers or not, ended up in this land. Many of the melanated people carry the same last names today. Family names. Not just Doug changing his name to something he thinks sounds more elegant. But a special class of people that came to America had to come through a specific registry. Thank you for joining me. Now we will discuss the African slave trade being destroyed and the slaves arrival. So, really quick, before someone thinks I'm being racist or twisting anything, these were immigrants. Migrant. Migrate. You do not migrate on a ship. Migrators brought on a ship is the actual American story of slavery. Period. A person who comes to live permanently on a foreign country. You really don't need me for this one, do you? Right? Just to just to just to push it a little bit more, right? Not native to specific location. Cause damage that has a tendency to spread to a degree believed to cause damage to the environment, the economy. Oh, no, 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 we created the economy. No, the, 
economy existed before your ass came from Africa, before Japheth's ass came from Japheth's land of Siberia, even before Tiglath Pilsler brought the Hebrews the second time around. Because remember, Abraham was promised this land. Moses, his name, his belongings are found in the Hopi Indian. My God. If these people weren't in America, they would not have named a plant after his brother that grows only in America. And I'm not going to show the plant. You got a computer? You can figure it out. Here's a story of Ellis Island. How it looks as you come in. Beautiful place. Hmm? Here, you tell me. I've been told black people were slaves, but all these black people were the slaves that have damn suits and ties on. Somebody lied to me. Somebody lied to you. No offense. They're, they all left countries that is supposed to be of their fucking origin and they're all wearing rags and blankets and no offense cheap coats they all have different ethnicities different types of facial hair We'll look at more images like these of the people that went through Ellis Island. Now, these are health inspections for new immigrants. We're in America, yet these men kind of look like Nazis. These are the people that are dressed well. They just got off a long voyage in a suit and tie. Suit and tie, suit and tie, suit and tie, suit and tie. This is not the same boat that these people came on. These, this claims Irish immigrants. Now, let's just pretend the caption is correct. Do any of these people look like the ethnicity that you call Irish today? Not one of them blonde hair. Right? If I open a new window and type in Irish person,
Red hair. That that doesn't look like an Irish person, dude. I I, I don't I don't care what job he has in Ireland. Okay. What does Eric Bana say? There isn't an Irish person that I've met that something. Uh, I I don't know. Um, here, I mean, look, it's not hiding anymore. Ireland, I was the only black person. Again, you're going to deal with the black Irish. All right, so when I type in Irish person, this is what comes up. Uh, I must be being racist when I imagine that most Irish people or most people that presume to be black, Irish or blonde hair or something of that nature. Right, you see this? Everybody dressed in Irish day has blonde hair, blondish hair. Right? There's a few. See, that's an in between. That's not that dark. You see dark hair. You've seen jet black hair. All right, so this is my point. When you say these people are Irish, these blonde people, yet Ellis Island, these are 10 Irish immigrants immigration songs right so irish immigrants so i wonder if i can be more clear and say yeah there's there's a problem with this there's a huge problem with this dark haired people don't have blonde fucking children this is the problem I have with Sonny and Cher. Two people with phenotypes of dark hair don't produce a blonde child. All these people with dark hair. Dark hair, dark hair, dark hair. Stories of Irish deportees. Come on, man. I say, show me Irish and just <laughs> show. So the Indians. You see, the Indians went to, to, to Canada. The Indians of India went to Canada. Ain't they wearing this, the same hats that the Moors wore? Before the Moors went to the blood cap? If you knew, what's, what's the card say? What's the Illuminati card? If you actually knew what the, what the blood cap meant, right? What is it? Yeah, this is really about Ellis Island, but you'd be surprised what everything is connected with it. Fraternal orders, right? See the horns, the buffalo horns? Bill Cosby, the Buffalo Lodge. Fred Flintstone, Buffalo Lodge. You think they look silly with their hats and motor scooters. If you only knew what those hats really meant, you'd never laugh at it, right? We shall get our kingdom back. What was your kingdom? Oppression. If you knew what that hat meant, white man, you wouldn't laugh again because you forgot. Because they made it, so what? Don't tell them. What does Nicki Minaj keep saying? Rome's revenge. What did the Moabites say on video in Ali's Men 2016? The last chapter of the book of Acts. Is what? Relates to them. That meant Rome and Moab was hand in hand. So, what did they do? They enslaved Africans. Now again, if I type in Irish immigrant, and all these different looking peoples come up that promotes a problem. 
All right, a big problem. Now again, I can't trust that the robot's gonna give me 100% what I'm asking for. But like I've stated before in many of these videos, this robot's alive. And although I've got a point to make, every living thing has a point to make. So I say, show me, show me Irish immigrants on Indian land. And they show me Indians being brought, India's Indians being brought to the American Indians land. A protest at sea. See, we're arguing about justice for, versus liberation for the melanated person because justice and liberation for people that call themselves caucus or white people, which are actually not caucus, has been hidden. Because if you can see one do it, you can find out how to do it for yourself. So the robot, he's like, hey, wait, wait, wait. There's other things that need to be liberated. All right, robot. I ain't gonna give you, we'll put it on the back burner, bullshit robot. will investigate the boat robot just to make you friendlier friendlier hey look at that there's a movie it was an incident there's an apology a memorial well look at this it was chronological order right the incident then the memorial then the apology then the movie right they put timeline in there robot robot did you do that all right robot only a robot would say timeline instead of chronological order. Another day, robot. You already know we're in something. I like that robot. I have to face him one day. So, see what's going on with all this. Just bringing waves and waves and waves. Detention of unaccompanied minors. Somebody just put their kid on the boat, jumped off the boat, went back to handle business, put the kid on the boat, the adult died on the boat. Who knows? Look at this. You know what this is? This is their armies. You know what comes after this, right? The Homestead Act comes after this. You know when somebody lays a bunch of landmines and then you need to you need to let some animals run over the landmines just so that the next wave of people don't get hurt. This is what it is. Whoever's in control flooded New York with all these people with the claims you're going to be able to go into the 13 colonies but all these people went west how many people saw the gangs of New York why were these people leaving New York as they got there and going to different parts of the land ethnic pockets you've got to understand what's going on ethnic pockets are going to come they don't speak the same language but one of them is always trying to get the next thing so in each group you always got one trying to get the next thing and he's the one that's willing to learn a little bit of the next language to communicate with the next guy
the adults don't want to learn English. They send these children to classes to learn English. You've seen these international classes. This is an apple. Can anybody say apple? And boo. All together now. Right? No adult wants to sit there through that shit. That's why it's easier to do when you're at a younger age. Ellis Island is a island in the New York Harbor. It contains a museum and former immigration inspection station of the same name as the nation's busiest inspection station from 1892 to 1954. Now, again, if you have this huge flood of anybody coming on boats, this is it. None of those people you saw to your imagination would be an African. You are presuming that black people today have been living on that continent since the dawn of time. You're not taking into consideration diasporas, migrations, force to live somewhere you don't want to live. Somebody believing they have the authority to pick you up and move you where they want you. Now think. You are talking about somebody with the power to load up boat after boat after boat after boat after boat after boat after boat. After boat. Four. 60, is it 58 years? Let's see. Nope. Two. About 62 years. My math is shitty. Does not matter. I don't work at a bank. I won't affect anything that has to do with your numbers. So, for about 62 years, these people were being sent to the exact same spot to unload and all that they knew was that there's another land and there's room for you there. Now, if in the past, Newspapers are entertainment. Um, then when you deal with Ellis Island, those rich people that got off in suits, I cannot find that image right now, those people can afford a newspaper every day. These people are not going to be able to afford newspapers, man. See these guys? That's well dressed. See the chain? He's a child. He's got money for extra. All right? You see the vest? Extra. You got to pay attention, right? These are the, the, the bowler hats, right? Got to pay attention to the air. You see these people 
They all have the same headpiece. These are like early Mormons or something. Or uh, what's the other group? Starts with an M2. Not the Amish, but the other group. Now, no vest, tie, vest and tie. So this is a vest that Thomas Willard, I mean, excuse me, this is a boat the Thomas Willard that seems to be taking wealthier people. Look at the hats in the background. These hats are made of leather, I believe. They have to be treated uh, uh, to shape them. So see right here, it has the iris. So let's just click on this one. Because we should see lots of blonde haired people. And you don't see that. No iris is going to come off and get tattoos and shit like that. So, yeah, that's modern. Uh, plus, it's not a black and white. Yeah. So, if you understand what's going on, even. <laughs> If they say this is the iris, then this ain't what you think it is. And it's just that simple. Even when we look at this picture, there's two people with blonde hair. All right, that's, a, that's just a different phenotype. It's a different phenotype. She's holding that baby like it's hers. So, you're, you're not, you're, you're not going to sell this to me. I'm, I'm just not going to buy it. So when I understand that barbarian tribes are taking the place of European nations, and I'm dealing with this. And it's this is this image is telling me something different. It's it's not telling me this. That's what it's telling. See, and it just says alumni. See? Now and you see how Alamani turns into Il Imani? Not that far from Illuminati. Now you see what's going on? The barbarians and and what? Whoever is sitting in place of the black rulership of the past that was overthrown. All meet together. Why can't black Freemasons go to go to white Freemason meetings? Because they overthrew you. <laughs> it's just that simple. Why, why, why can white Freemasons go to any, see the Neanderthal jaw? We're going to get into this. See how he don't have it? Yeah, we're going to get into this. So, <laughs> Ellis Island is more of the African Slave Registry Office during the time of 1892 and 1954. It processed 12 million immigrants. So what we want to know is how many immigration inspection stations were there and where were they located at? Because that will tell us how many people passed through and that will give us our African slave trade number.
By the 1850s, New York was receiving, and that's good. That means it's not a date too far back. Once you organize and say, we're going to have a system of government, this then becomes one of the most important things. Now, that's an image of Ellis Island. Here, it says Ellis Island operated from 1882. Now, here it says Ellis Island, what? We'll find out. The, the largest U.S. port of 5,000... <laughs> 5,400,000 people who arrived in the United States between 1820 and 1860. More than two-thirds entered at New York. Right? Don't say nothing about New York, New Jersey, do it. No, it just says New York. By 1850, New York was re receiving more than three-quarters. They like saying that, don't they? Excuse me, two-thirds right there, and then three-quarters here. <coughs> of the national total of total of immigrants and by the 1890s more than four fifths and by whatever date you want to make up seven tenths of that, that doesn't reduce does it uh, 15 80 sevenths of the pot that doesn't reduce does it come on dude you're just making fucking numbers put the fucking total on the goddamn screen that's what I mean. Ooh, I want to make this a mystery. Bitch, I'm reading the article, so it's no goddamn mystery. Here we go. Quatrain. Quatrain. Quarantine. Oh, man, I didn't even read that right. I better go back to my white teachers and say, you didn't teach me good English. Prior to July 1855, there was no immigrant processing station at New York. There you go. Why isn't that the first sentence underneath this crap right here? Hmm, because you got to be lied, because everybody was lying. Right? Sideways! Talking out their mouth in... Yeah, never mind. Talking out the sight of their neck. Ah! We like to keep accurate records. We do not like to keep accurate titles of the records that we keep. Passengers and crew were inspected on board by health officials. And if they were infected with infectious diseases, all passengers and crew were then sent to quarantine on Staten Island. Built in, oh, 1799. The quarantine was a compound of hospitals surrounded by a six-foot high wall. Because if you're sick, you ain't going to be able to climb six feet, right? Hmm. So, from the start, residents of Staten Island uh, resented the quarantine, blaming it for disease in the surrounding communities. Uh, in 1858, a mob burned it all down. Following the blaze, quarantine station was relocated to a large ship, the Florence Nightingale. Look at that. So, in 1858. How old is this name? Was this person that we know as Florence Nightingale trying to use this name to encourage people to look up this shit? <laughs> and our stupid ass parents. Couldn't go near a dictionary or thesaurus, right? Oh, look at this. There's another one. So this one's a nurse.
the founder of modern nursing. Ooh, was Florence Nightingale like trying to say, hey, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm the nurse. Isn't there a singer, Florence Nightingale, or am I just dreaming this? Is there a fucking singer, man? Yeah. Maxine Nightingale. Went by Florence Nightingale. There you go. Whoa. Goodness gracious. Wow, man. They don't even want to let you have yo, sister. Oh, my goodness. So if I type in singer, this is what I get. Is a British R&B and soul music singer. Look at that. Maxine Nightingale. Now, here's Florence Nightingale and albums. Yes, this is all about Ellis Island. I got, I got to figure this out piece by piece. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's 10 minutes from me. That's funny. Caucasian Falls is what we always call it. No, 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 no. Because it's the, uh, it's it's part of land that the uh, Cuyahoga River flows through, right? And again, these people <laughs> destroy our town and then they build their town. And then, of course, they write all those housing clauses in. So I don't want to get into that. You know, bringing up their racism is, is their way of saying, you're being racist. When we do it, it's okay. <laughs> now we know why you think it's okay. Which clearly it's not. This is no point in, in, in arguing humanity, humane rights with, 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 with clearly what's been shown today. So, then there was Garden Castle. And in 1855, it was called Castle Clinton. It's an old fort on the tip of Manhattan. So you see, all these places are all in New York. Now, Ellis Island again, and then immigration quotas. So right there, it is not showing you any other port of entry. Now, I understand there is um, Angel Island. And I understand what has happened at Angel Island. Now, Angel Island is famous for uh, bringing what we call Asians, they're not Asians, they're Mongols, over to the America, and this was their Ellis Island, or their detention immigration center, or immigration slash detention center. And if you look at the history of Angel Island, it will tell you, um, it'll tell you about how, uh, uh, they used Angel Island to hold people. Immigrant perspectives. How would you? Okay, so predominantly Chinese immigrants who were detained at Angel Island were not welcomed in the United States. So again, it's supposed to be an immigration center. You want me to scroll back up at the top? immigration station but it was just a detention center they were locked in cages like at the zoo they locked us up like criminals here 
When we arrived, they locked us up like criminals in compartments like cages at a zoo. What is cages at a zoo? Right next to each other, right? Held in cages for weeks, often months, individuals were subjected to rounds of long, stressful interrogations to assess the legitimate legitimacy of their immigration applications. Immigrants were made to recall minute details of their life. On occasion, translators may not have spoken the particular dialect of the immigrant completely. Most Chinese immigrants were often Southern Chinese at the time and spoke Cantonese, not really Chinese. So you see the problem there, right? Those that failed these tests were often feared of shame of returning to China. Some would commit suicide either before and or on the voyage back to China or southern China where they spoke Cantonese. So, again, if you are a white person that was just freed from what was called European slavery by quote unquote black people. You went to Ellis Island and the only time that you stopped was if you had a disease. If you were a Mongol and you were from the same bloodline that freed them, you were kept in cages like an animal. Meaning, the Mongols related to the Siberian, the Russian. The Iranian, the Mexican, they're all, they're all brothers. So somebody that was non-related put their brothers in cages. So me and you were being starved out, we're being you know, sexually assaulted at will. We're being hung. We're being chased. We're being we're being pushed off of falls, meaning rivers that that we call river waterfalls. Nigger falls, Niagara Falls. Come on man, wake up. Coon Falls. What, you, what, what name did they call you, dude? Wake up. Other nations, they're treating them like zoo animals. Right? So if they got an immigration station and they're not letting these people in, how did these people build the railroad? Right? 1963? So 1910 and 1850 is when it starts. Military reserve during the Civil War, right? And 1904 authorized the building for new immigration. Now think about the map. No, no. Zones of migration. Robot knows me. What's up, robot? I love you, Lex Will. Oh, robot, you're going to make me cry. Zones of migration. Here's the United States, right? I'm like, I'm like right here. See that arrow? It's, it's pointing at me. Ow, it poked me. So. This is north for us. You understand what I'm doing? Here's the south end. This is north for us. There's the North Pole right here. 
Remember that Simon said that map that shows that Simon says area around the North Pole? Because they're still hiding it in this map too. You see how everything's swirling? It makes it look like it's swirling down a drain, and the drain would be at the North Pole. That's why this map is real. Now, here's Ellis Island. Does that make sense? Where'd they come from? Where were they before that? Does that make sense? Now, a woman's DNA didn't say it was from North Africa. It said right here in the center. They said they could track her blood coming up through Africa and stopping in what we call Germany in the Neander Valley. That's where she got the Neander DNA. Those people were enslaved throughout Europe. They said as far over as the Muslims area near what? What 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 is what is the importance? Istanbul. So all of this they were enslaved in. All that we call Europe today. So those Africans, whatever they look like when they left, by the time they got into Europe, they came across Neander people. Intermixed with Neander people. And sometime after that, they became, quote unquote, white people. Whatever the black man's decision to enslave them, when these people that came out of the Kyrgyz, right? Khan, the Genghis Khan, Kyrgyz area. When they came out of that Kyrgyz area, they freed them. And all those people took the spots of the Europeans that were the slavers before. Most of the slaves were packed on boats sent to Ellis Island. The same time, Genghis Khan and his great grandson, uh, Kublai Khan, is taking over all of this. By 1905, they're on boats to Angel Island. Because what? You see what these lines are. That's the current. The world current. See how big Hudson fucking Bay is? That huge hole punched in there? And that's where they believe what? This is where they believe all the ice broke through. And seeded our land with gold and other minerals. So, this is what we're not. They did get out of here. I didn't build that shit. <clears throat> Again, this is a horse and buggy uh, peoples. Slaves didn't come with cannons. Slaves didn't come with muskets. That's where we got the cannon from. That's where we got the musket from. You might as well put the word. The 
Zar Cannon is the largest early model. I just guessed this. It's the only place they could get it. They're goddamn slaves, man. 1856, they invented that shit. And then they put that shit on boats. And then that is how the Barbary Wars eventually came to a halt. Okay. Thanks for joining us. We will continue this soon.